Hello, and welcome to Hey Team TV. You're not going to let Charlie say anything? No. We'll do it again. Hello, and welcome to Hey Team TV. Right, it is 10 to 10 in the morning. 55 to. Oh my God, see. It's 53 minutes. Close to the 5 eh? So it's 7 minutes to. That's close to the 5 to, though. Yeah, 2 oh, minutes. You're just busy. Dick. Anyway, we, we, well, I and Charlie have just been bathing. You've been putting Ray on for this afternoon. Getting stuff ready. For other things that we do, but we're popping out. Where are we going now? Do you want to, would you like to let uh, ladies and gentlemen know? Well, we're having a morning off, aren't we? And oh. we are going to a Kubota oh, Vincent Tractor's Open Day. So, various bits and pieces, cultivation. A bit of dump spreading. And it's actually on our doorstep. So this is the first. Yeah, so we're gonna go see the open day and well, it's just a bit different, isn't it? A bit of cultivation going on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's be interesting for us because we don't do cultivation. And we might learn something. And we might pick up something that we might do with grass round. But we met we are, we are looking for something around the mindset of Mintil, which could go straight into grass stubble. Um, mainly because if the power harrow idea doesn't work. Because yeah. we haven't got into that here, we? No. No. So we can see what we find. Yeah. So we're in a nice stubble field. It's a bit different than walking on grass, isn't it? It's way different, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? I've been in a stubble field for a long time. <laughs> Not, not since back in the day, and uh, it is not a bad day. It's a little bit, a little bit grey above, but we are going to have a little look around. So at Vincent Tractor's Demo Day, Vincent are Kubota dealers in our area, also Knerveland. Yep. And? K2. <laughs> I had to think about that. Did you have to think about that? Yes, I did. <laughs> There's your beast, mate, your favourite RTV. Yes, it is. I do like that one. Can't say, can't deny I don't, because I do. See, I do like the cab. Do like the cab. Can't say I don't. I mean, it does look pretty, and it does. But yeah. it is like a greenhouse. Visibility is awesome. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can see. I mean, look. You can see right down to the floor, which it, again is really good, isn't it? You can't say it's not. Yeah. It was just. It was just. Is it just a minor temperature thing? If temp. If like yes. the heat in the day is through the roof. The window opens at the front, so it's not a big. Well, you can always take the doors off, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you take the doors off in the summer, which you probably would, to be honest with you, but. But you wouldn't want to scrape anything down here, would you? No. But, as far as Kubota go, they are built at last. As we yeah, said, two fridges. As we said in our other videos, they do what they say on the tin. Yeah. And they, they are a workhorse, and they are a good workhorse as well. Also here, Kid Post Rammer. I didn't actually know Kid made Post Rammers. I thought, the I've what? always known Kid big for um, toppers. Yeah. Straw choppers. Straw choppers, pan mixers. Yeah. So... Yeah, Good one, that's a new one. So, Kubota Topper Ads. This is a... First one I've seen. First one you've seen? Yeah, it's first Kubota Topper Ads. I was going to say multi-directional. Okay. I was going to say multi-directional. See? Well, yeah. That's a big word for you. Multi-directional. Yeah. So, this one you can have out up at 45. Yeah. And trim your edges. Hang on, 45, crap angle, 90 degrees. Yeah, 90, 45 is... <laughs> 45 is that. You're going to hammer some edges, mate. Oh my God. Devon Banks will never look the same again. Anyway, he comes up an angle. You can also have him stretched out. We, one day, could really do one of these because we've got one, obviously, that goes on the front. Yes, we do. All we, back. And we do do a lot of topping, and which we do. We're going to be doing a lot of topping this year as well. And we're going to do even well. more this year. Yeah. So, this is a very handy... Look at this kit. It looks tough. Why well, your Kubota stuff always does tough. 
But it really does look tough. Um, wonder if we can get it on demo. <laughs> we'll have to speak, speak Nick later. Yeah. All right, Nick. So we've got Nick from Twos going to show us around this Twos head trimmer. What can you tell us about it, Nick? 6.7 meter reach, telescopic machine, uh, 65 horsepower pump, uh, three point linkage, low pressure proportional controls here, and uh, cable rotor start. Just there, both going to the tractor, to the back of the cab. Oil cooler and lights are standard. I have a 1.2 or a 1.5 meter head. Uh, 1.2 is standard. Um, option for auto head as well for narrow lanes cutting behind. Yeah, the fan is in a good ideal place. Yeah. So obviously you can't back into it. Back into yeah. it, which is ideal. Yeah, um used to be on top of here, but obviously it's a bit yeah. <laughs> a bit bulky up there, so a lot better than the bumper. You just yeah, started in that last couple of years really. So now we've got Phil with K2. We've got a K2 dunk trailer, K2 push out trailer and the guy in the know is going to let us know all about it. Uh, yeah, so thank you for that nice introduction. We are here today with Vincent Tractors and we have our K2 20 tonner pushing trailer and our 10 tonner K2 Dewar, our sort of bread and butter range of the muck spreaders. How does this trailer work? So, first of all, I'll apologise for the state of this trailer, which is our demonstrator unit. It's going all over Cornwall at the minute and hence the, the grass and stuff on it. But this trailer is basically, it's got two floors. So you've got the red floor here, right. then you've got that grey floor as you can see there, yeah. which slides back. Yeah. So when that is all the way forward, it obviously fills in these holes for once. Yeah. And then the headstock comes right to the front. So when you are compacting, only the headstock moves. Right. And that is sort of determined by the position of, how am I gonna wear this now, how am I gonna wear this? So there is a solenoid switch. Yeah. So when you open the rear door, yeah. it sends all the oil to this big guy. Right. So when the door is shut, it only sends oil for those two little ones. Yeah. Those two little ones don't have the power to push the door out. This guy does. Right. So once yeah. you open that door, oil can go through everything and it pushes the floor all the way to the back and then the head stop. Oh, Let's oil go everywhere. So when, yeah. so when, as I say, when the door is shut, yeah. your floor won't move. Yeah. Because obviously if your floor yeah, moves, yeah, yeah, then yeah, you're, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Get spillages and this, that, and the other. So your headstock moves backwards and forwards on the f the front floor, we'll call it. Yep. And then when you open the door, the front floor slides over the rear floor, and then the headstock slides over the front floor. And that's how you then get the flush finish at the end of the trailer for all the material to fall out the back. Literally, every little grain really it will push out. To be quite yeah. honest, yeah. yeah. There'll be no mess behind. No, no, no. We do have a lot of customers around the country that use these trailers for grain with success and they use them for there are people that use them for rape uh, i'm not saying it's a rape type trailer but you know what it works it, it works yeah it does, does yeah. work you know it does with, with the grain and stuff you might get a little bit of dribble out the front but that's only when you are yeah, ejecting yeah. not when you're going down the front it would be no more than what you'd leave on a bumper of a tipper trailer or yeah, something yeah, you know, yeah. which is you're going to get that on with a great you're going to get let's be honest exactly there's small times of things it's very yeah. quite hard to see in such a big area but as you can see we've got rubbers down the side and along the bottom and that forms quite a tight seal so it's actually when you are pushing this back with it empty and dry you can actually you can see it working hard just so here are the k2 duo thousand dunk spreader it is looking rather shiny Demo it as is. well, or not demo? It hasn't had its first demo yet. It's fresh out the box, this one. Right. And, like, in history of us, we used to run K2 before what we run now, which we won't say because it's like swearing. <laughs> so what has changed on the K2 spreader at the back now? So, um, we now have a new rotor design to your old machine that you mentioned earlier. We now have two paddles on the Mark V. This matting design here. Yes. I'm guessing by looking at it, because you've got one it stops on. the muck yeah. going through the front and creating That's, a sort of. On the older ones, we never had that. And what it would do, it would actually drop on the floor and you'd have clumps yes. in the field. Yes. But just looking at this now, so basically, if the the dung is going to come back in the beaters. It keeps it in keep, there. Yeah, it's going to it, keep it, it in the back. It's going yeah. that way, and, and it it's very those simple. Clumps and it, you know, it's all about spread it? pattern and stuff. So yeah. what yeah. we so. what we are on about, guys. So I'll come in closer for you guys to see. In here is a rubber pad, very thick rubber sheeting, and this side because the K2 rails are staggered. If you can see what I'm talking about, this one's up ahead of that bar there. 
So this side is bent over cleaning the um, bar pulling the dung in. This one, as it's waiting, or in a waiting position at the moment, because obviously the dung is not on and my arm's in it, uh, the rubber is now up waiting for it. So these are constantly getting cleaned all the time because what I had to say on our old one, it used to take it underneath and then drop down on the floor. Even worse, when you're on the road and there's bits stuck to the bars and then you leave a lot of dung on the road, which can upset the locals, let's say. So what else is new? So this is this particular model is a Mark V spreader. So this one has two paddles on the bottom and we've got eight mil uh, S355 steel here. As the spreaders get bigger, you can move up to a Mark VI. So these will have three of these guys on a slightly bigger rotor. So then you've got a six uh, tooth flighted spiral, as you can see here, which really sort of like chops the muck up as it's coming out the back of the spreader. Right, I finally found the man. Nick, how's day going? Good. Yeah. Right, yeah, early doors, but yeah, good so far. Yeah, so obviously we've only just found Nick because we've looked through all that over there so far. Uh, not the Canavalent. Nick's about talked about that. And about their new M7 demo, which has got a little bit of a difference. Nick? Yeah, so we want to do something a bit different. It's our 55 year anniversary as a business. We've been dealing with Kubota since the early 80s. Um, and um, so just break things up a bit, black rims, a bit of black vinyl on the on the Kubota as well on the bonnet, um, just to give it a bit of a change really, a bit of a facelift and it's gone down really well. We yeah, it looks, great. It, it looks sick, it yeah. actually looks sick. It's not like the, the orange on the wheel sometimes a little bit overpowering orange and the black has sort of made it really like yeah. blast out. Yeah, no, we're really pleased it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a balanced Kubota are very proud of their sort of orange yeah. so it's, we've got to be a bit careful about that but it just it does break it up nicely and just makes it stand out and actually when you look at it it does take, change the look of the tractor completely well, it looks um, bigger like black rims just seem to make things look bigger. it's quite cool look, wheels just look awesome. yeah yeah we weren't sure what we we're going to do but um yeah just it's just something yeah it's nice yeah. what have we got behind us uh so we've got quite a nice range of Cavernlin kit with us today. Um, this is our Acti Roll 630, so 6.3 meter Cambridge rolls. Um, with some clog boards. Um, we've got a, a turbo cultivator. Um, that looks quite the similar. We used to, we used to have a uh, cultivator, Cavernlin cultivator, very much the same as this. When Cavernlin was slightly different coloured, and had the green springs rather than the black springs. Um, and we loved it because it just never clogged up back when we did actually do lots of tillage. Um, obviously, unfortunately, Big Boss Man and I decided to sell it, so we don't have it anymore. But, would it work very well in stubble grass? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it would. Yeah, no, so this is our re on a reflex time. Um, so it works in the, you know, the top 20 centimetres. It's not a deep fill machine. Um, it's been really good for us. We've, we've done quite a few of them. Um, little levelling tines and a nice little twin packer at the back. You have got a Canavan drill on the back of a... M7. M7 over there. So yeah, M7 front press, Canavan front press and a three metre power hour drill uh, combination. Um, that is a uh, yeah mechanical metering. It's actually a stock unit, but it's, yeah, it's a tried and tested. Yeah product really good one of the staple of the Cavernland machinery really we've got uh, another well we can talk about that when we see it but we've got another m7 um, running a enduro three meter cultivator right which is the replacement cultivator for the clc which is a really popular okay really popular one yeah. um, slightly shorter so actually requires a bit less horsepower and less capacity on the back end yeah yeah, yeah. Means everything a little bit closer yeah so that's uh, yeah that's a really good product very good on stubble that will go to about 30 centimeters so go a little bit deeper um and you've got the ability just to um 
adjust your height uh, hydraulically yeah. through the packer. Um, but you must love actually having Canervan oh, great under the back. It's banner, brilliant because Canervan is a absolutely renowned brand. Uh, we had Canervan mower, we've had Canervan cultivators, we had Canervan plow in the past, and Canervan have well. I'm sure any of you Canervan fans out there uh, will just know that Canervan has never made it like taken a step backwards, have they? So it's renowned tough, tough gear. So no, it is for us. It's been brilliant. Um, it's an opportunity. A lot of our demonstrator Cavernan kit will go out on our Kubota tractors. Mm. Um, so once people get in the Kubota, they're really impressed by it. Um, we run a um, Cavernan to do a. a a new range of ploughs, which is a we've got the one we got today is a three thirty three hundred, yeah, so it's on a three hundred headstock. Um, it's a five furrow. It could be plus one, so um, you can run it as a six. We've got a packer mat on that one as well, so it's a fairly heavy setup. We run that on our M seven, runs really well. The tractor is a fantastic field tractor, and obviously with the Cavernlin kit, it's um it is tried and tested. That particular plough has a new. The main thing on that one is it's got a pivoting headstock, so the plough behaves like a trailer. Yeah, yeah. So you pull two pins in it, and, it you, and it's really good for for road work. You can increase the speed at which you're going as well. So it's for our for our guys doing a lot of off ground. It's it works really well. Yeah, yeah. The Cavernin has certainly opened doors for us, and it gives us an, uh, the opportunity to talk to customers that otherwise we may not have had, and it gets them to sort of maybe consider the Kubota tractor. Yeah. And as everyone knows, it's on the Kubota tractor's five year warranty. So it's a big selling point for us. This is Adam from Knerland, who's an expert on this cultivator. So, would you like to tell us about it? Yeah, we'll do, yeah. This is um, one of our um, universal stubble cultivators. Um, it's the turbo range. And in the range of turbo cultivators, we go anywhere from three meter yeah. mounted machines, which this one is. We go all the way up to eight meter trail yeah. and pretty much anything in between. On the cultivator itself, then we've got a couple of different tine options. This yep. is what's called the reflex tine. Um, depth wise, we can work down to 20 centimetres, eight inches of this. Right. Um, and we then have this is the re what's called the reflex 200. And we also have a, what's called a triflex tine. Yeah. Works at the same depth, but it's a stronger tine, 400, right, nice. 400 kilos of pressure. So if you're in heavier soils, yeah. or, we then go for the heavier tine. The way it works, the concept of it is that we rely on vibration um, from the time assembly. So as it's running through the ground, you'll probably see it from your yeah, yeah. and it's running up and down. Obviously moving, shattering the soil and throwing the soil all up underneath the frame. So we then get a lot of mix from the time assembly. Um, so we've got standard metal work on here at the minute, but we can also have carbide on. So doing very good at the rate of the soil, so we can run the carbide. And then moving further to the back, we then have a levelling element that then sits in there. All this is doing is catching a bit of the soil and levelling that off from behind the last row of tines. Um, obviously, we've got that levelling tines on this machine, but we can also have discs in there. They can either be hydraulically operated or, or mechanically run operated using the hydraulic. So, obviously, the beauty of that, we can then adjust that as we run up and down the field, we have very soil on any of the other, we can adjust that out. And then move to the back, we then have um, our twin packer that sits on the back, and that's what's called our active rest twin. So we've got a twin roller assembly on there. It's on a pivot system, yep. so therefore we get an equal amount of consolidation and pressure on both rollers, regardless of conditions and regardless of where the machine is set. We're always going to get the same amount of pressure on both sets of rollers, which is going to keep it going and keep it rolling in the wet and sticky. Yeah, so quality disc wise, this is one of our short range of short disc arrows. Yep. Um, so we have a quality disc farmer. This is a four meter hydraulic folding machine. And there again, we go from three meter rigid all the way up to seven meter trail. Okay. 
uh, two rows of discs um, working on rubber suspension units so obviously they'll they'll protect the sails if we have any stone or um, um, any big objects that run through they'll kick the sails out of the way and, and work out of the way uh, there again depth wise we can run um, um, 10 centimeters down to about four inches with this assembly yeah and then we have leveling and fingers that then run in the back to catch any soil and trash just to hold that and push that underneath the packer and then we're running onto our um, our uh, packer assembly that sits on the back of the machine awesome Thank you very much for your time. Cool. Nice to be here with HRS, sat in our Kubota uh, M7173. Um, this is their new M7 on the market, uh, the latest version. A couple of little changes, nothing significant, but uh, in change on the engine tier, so it's tier five emission engine. There's a, a new steering system, so one full turn can give you full lock, and you can adjust that dependent on, um, on what you're doing. So which is quite nice and we've got start and stop um, start and stop on the foot brake which is quite a nice additional feature this particular tractor is all isobus premium spec so you've got the nice screen here which is really intuitive screen um, nice and big this actually is based on the telus screen which comes across from Cavernland. the main control panel is here front linkage or loader controls but the beauty of it is everything's really well laid out yeah everything's on your fingertips isn't it it's really nice and uh yeah you're not leaning over to get anything here no everything not at all. is operator wise you would be quite happy to spend a day in here wouldn't yeah you? yeah definitely honest. yeah it's a nice space the cab is a really good size yeah. as well the visibility is great like there's two of us yeah. sat here now and we've got loads of room so yeah no we've, we've got it here at our day and we've got running a lot of heavy you know cultivation kit on it we've got a five furrow a new 300 headstock kv plow with a packer mat on it um bit of weight on the front obviously but um they're doing, it, they're doing it, aren't they? Yeah. Nothing's struggling, is it? No, not at all. From what I'm seeing, anyway. No, not at all. Um, I think people are surprised by that. People think you have to have sort of 250, yeah. 300 horsepower plus for that sort but of kit. But you don't, this proves it, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it does. You know, these are four pot tractors, but they are like a six cylinder, really, isn't they it? They are, they're hungry. They and are. They are fantastic field tractors. Yeah, they and, are. Um, you know, just if you're considering anything else, I would you know definitely recommend just getting them and yeah. we you know have a go the warranty on them they're reliable you know we've sold quite a few of them now and they, we don't have them back in the workshop well, there you go well, that speaks for itself yeah yeah it? you know we do not have tractors sat around for repair work no. at all so it's nice to sell something as well that you know is, yeah. is reliable um, right so that is this one we're going to take a look around yeah we're going to have a look we've got an m6 we'll have a quick look at that one <laughs> Right, so we are in Kubota's M6132. This is our newest model out, and Nick will go through about it. Yeah, so brand new tractor from Kubota, M6. Three in the range, uh, 120, 130, and 140, all of which will boost 20. It's a Kubota transmission. It's the same transmission which we had, which was in our MGX tractor, but it's a three range, eight speed. Uh, power shift but everything is this is this tractor itself is a completely new tractor so really nice spec front suspension cab suspension what else have we got on it yeah you've got we've got a lot of ability on this tractor to change controls you run it in an auto box got start and stop on your foot brake seven ton capacity on the back end pretty big back um, end then. yeah the most Kubota tractors have got a really substantial real heavy duty isn't it? yeah yeah so one of the perks and it's the same cab on yeah. this one is um as our M7. So again, loads of premium, room. Premium cab then, really? Premium cab, loads of room. So is this a basic, is this a basic spec then? Yeah, this is a basic spec. So this is our demonstrator, yeah. yeah so you come in different spec, you right. can, um, yeah, you can spec them up, isobus plugs and screens yeah. and all the rest of it. Right. But our demonstrator, we're just gonna go um, just basic to get it out there for a minute. I've ordered another one to go on as a loader tractor because I think it could be a good loader tractor. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just something that we've never, not had, before we can offer this sort of spec and this size tractor so you know you, you there's a lot of competitors who've done really well in this market yeah why not well and she's on well she's on a four for a blow and she's not struggling is she not at all no so no not at all and we had this on some cultivators yesterday we had it on our culty strip yeah which is a three meter culty strip six rows so every row's got a fairly heavy duty yeah. time so it takes a bit of pulling yeah. and this pulled it no problem it's good on the road actually we've had, a, had it with a dump trailer on and pulls well so it's the same engine as what was in the M7. All right, yeah. So it's yeah. the 6.1. Yeah. 
The big old engine, really. The big old, six, yeah. big old 6.1 litre engine. She's um, going to pull and pull, isn't she? Yeah, very hungry. Yeah, so we're quite excited. Nice to get it out and about a bit. Done a few already, sold a few. Just this nice little, you know, like this control stick has come out the M7, yeah. but it's been slightly modified. So that works really well. Your main paddle, you've got your range change in there. You've got your auto switch. Everything again, like the M7. And again, nice everything's like fingertips again. Yeah, there. yeah. All your ability to change um, the settings. Everything's here. So your aggressiveness in the auto box, you can, everything is here, nice and easy to do. To do. You're not twisting around or no. searching for buttons. So. Yeah, if there's something that you're interested in, yeah, give us a shout or yeah. contact your local dealer. But we'll give it to you guys, I think, when we can next few weeks. Yep. And let you guys do your review and we'll see what you go think. Through. Ideal. Thank All you very right. much, Nick, for today. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. No worries. And it's mate. good to see the little kit yeah. in action. Yeah, yeah. We'll catch up with you right, soon. Yeah. But cheers. <laughs>